Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Anthony B uses Drake to expose this. Underneath it, all certified platinum in the US. Marion Hall reacts. Spraga Benz shares this rumor. Woman sock dexter daps on stage. Stay tuned for the stories in detail. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. Yeah. World of Reggae music singer Anthony B has cautioned that Jamaica's seeming penchant for elevating foreign music over that of its own reggae artists can ultimately result in the dissemination of the culture. He said, and I quote, There is a lot of goodwill out there for the music, but if we are not careful, we will be faced with a dying culture. Anthony B said in a Gleaner interview in response to a question as to whether reggae music gets the respect that it deserves. Anthony B added and I quote we play more Drake songs in Jamaica than we play our own music just ask JCAP Jamaica Association of Composers Authors and Publishers how much royalty money they have to send overseas annually according to Spotify wrapped Drake was the most streamed artist in Jamaica for the years 2021 and 2022 data provided to Dancehall Mag from JCAP confirms the statements made by Anthony B. In March last year, JCAP reported that the overseas copyright holders were still collecting the majority of royalties paid over by Jamaican radio stations for playing music. Their data also showed that as recent as 2020, of the 106,602,998 dollars in royalties collected by JCAP, only 35% a total of $37,385,556 was paid to local interest while $69,217,442 was paid to foreigners while in 2013 as much as 85% of royalties collected by JCAP was paid over to overseas copyright holders. Ethnomusicologist Dr. Dennis Howard had described the state of affairs as quote unquote absolutely a problem as Jamaica, a country with eight music genres, was not playing enough Jamaican music and happens to be quote unquote the net importers of copyright material. He said and I quote, there is a trade imbalance in other areas and it is a similar situation which exists in music but we never look at music as a viable trade commodity. It is. We don't encourage it. Manalai, these figures don't look good. Me don't like them. And it need for fix. Same time. It's like her music is becoming like our economy. We are importing more as opposed to consuming our own product. I'm sure a lot of persons are gonna point fingers. The artists them need to do better music, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But the bottom line is we need to fix this issue. Anybody have any suggestions? Let me hear them in the comment section below. Why am I saying, uh, me no know if you see the video, yeah, you know, circulate on the internet uh, with Dexter apps on stage and this woman had to wash her hand to him. Wanna see it? But anyways, if you haven't, here goes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Now you tell me now, performances like these is what led this reggae artist Brimstone to do this song. Check this out. She tell me say she love me more than Dexter does. Me say me no believe her. She wanted me for Edia. So me bring her go a show now for go watch Dexter Daps. Bring her to the VIP because me see her as that. When she see Dexter Daps, she a scream and a drop. No one pose from the man like she a do a bean shot. Yo, Brimstone, all I can say is this song is a different. Massive, the official music video will be coming out soon. And I heard that Dexter Daps himself will be in the music video. This song uplifts your mood because of the jocular lyrics. And also because the issue he is discussing is common knowledge the girls them love them dexter dubs and can't get enough of him but the man them not like it <laughs> Checking out Brimstone's catalog is worth your time. You won't get bored. His writing ability is unique and full of flavor. He talks about topics that aren't overused and he does it in an entertaining manner. Dexter Daps is the name of this track and it will soon be available on all digital platforms. In the meantime, visit Brimstone on Instagram at bbbrimstone. Let him know say I'm out of saying you. No doubt, Lady Saw and Sly and Robbie's 2001 collab underneath it all is now certified platinum in the United States. According to the Record Industry Association of America, the song has reached the sales and streaming equivalent of 1 million units sold in the US. The platinum milestone follows a gold certification earned in March 2021, marking 500,000 units shifted in the US at the time. Massive, this is indeed some good news. Congratulations, guys. Going out to our very own Marion Hall, aka Lady Saw. She posted a snippet of the story on her Instagram, and this is what she said When you're blessed, you're just blessed. Once again, congratulations to everyone who worked on this project. You see, you wonder what worried about me? I want to tell you this. Hey. Come kiss, 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 kiss. Take a kiss, oh, tadis. Hey. Come kiss, 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 kiss. Take a kiss, oh, tadis. Hey. Spraga Benz Irali Kuruma and him got some boobs. Share it on his Instagram account. This is the rumor massive. Here's a can't go court still. I heard from good source they have big budget of 20,000 Jamaican dollars per vote going into your digital wallet to vote for the next election. If it no go so, a near so. Then he captioned that, me know them people yeah, will take it and still do them own thing. But let's watch and see. Hashtag unruly, hashtag Jamaicans. Massive anybody in a little room a day, let me know in the comment section below. And what are your thoughts on it? Share them please. So that's it for today, Massive Mountain. I beg upon a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey. Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.